I'm sure you know that the longer this goes, the more about your life you're going to need to rebuild. I mean, you're just going to need to do things a lot differently. You can't get so far away from the way things used to be and expect that, hey, it's just all going to easily go back to the way that it was. No, a lot of things are going to be different just because of how long this is going. And that might be really discouraging, but you know, keep in mind that's one of the reasons we're going through the wilderness with the Israelites because they needed to rebuild everything about their lives. Everything. And there's something that happened in Exodus 35 and 36 that really gives us some good guidance as to what we're supposed to do as we're going through this process and waiting. One of the things that they needed to build for the very first time was the tabernacle, the portable church that they would have with them in the wilderness. And of course they needed supplies and so God commanded all of the Israelites, he said, he said, I want you to give something for it. And he didn't tell them all to give the same thing, but he said, whatever you have, give that. You know, and some gave gold and some gave silver and some gave bronze, but some gave yarn, <laughs> some gave rocks. You know, it was a wide variety of things. They took from what they had and they did something with it. They did whatever they could and that was it. And the result, the result of them doing that, of taking whatever it was that they happened to have and doing whatever they could with it, was that at the end, Moses had to tell them to stop giving. <laughs> he said that at some point, he said, I don't want you to bring any more because what you have is more than enough. It was more than enough. And I wonder if they were, th as they were thinking about the building of the tabernacle and the person who was holding the, the little rock in his hand or the woman who was holding the little piece of yarn in her hand, wondering, is this gonna be enough? I wonder if they were afraid if it, was gonna, it wasn't gonna be enough. I don't know. But I bet you're sometimes afraid that what you have isn't enough. Is there really enough time to do what you want? Do you really have enough energy and patience and love? Do you have enough money? Do you have enough support? Do you have enough friends? We look at the things that we have and what we don't have and, and we can get afraid. We wonder about the outcome. We wonder if we're going to be okay. But God's command to us is the same one that he gave to the Israelites. Just, you know, he knows what you have and he also knows what you don't have. And he simply wants you to do what you can with it. And the reason we know that is because that was the principle that Jesus lived by. Jesus had something too. He had his life. And he did what he could with it. And do you know what he did? He used all of it to love you, to care for you, so that you wouldn't have to be afraid that the outcome of this day or the outcome of this week or the outcome of this pandemic or the outcome of your eternity rests on you. It all rests on him. The same one who knew what he was doing when he told the Israelites to take what they have and to do what they could with it and was responsible for the outcome of it was more than they needed. What do you have in your life today? Take stock of it. Thank God for it and do what you can with it. Even if all you can do is collapse at the end of a hard day from exhaustion. Isn't Jesus the one who said, well, come to me, you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. He will. Rest well tonight, my friends.